Madam, one last question on leadership. Sure. What are the, I'm curious, what, are, what were the 13 countries that uh, you went to or leaders from these 13 countries? And um, is there a particular difference in terms of values from each country? Mm. Commonality, yeah. Yeah, it's a good question because that was the original intention. I really wanted to understand whether would there be a difference. Uh, so interestingly, so some of the countries that I've interviewed, I've interviewed, uh, interviewed leaders from Indonesia, I've interviewed leaders from Malaysia, from Singapore, from Philippines, from Hong Kong, from Korea, from Japan, from Thailand. These are some of the few countries. So I'm actually going to uh, try to interview people from Cambodia, from Vietnam, uh, if possible from Myanmar. As, uh, oh, the other one is definitely India. I had a few interviews with people from India. Taipei, uh, Taiwan is included as well. We are also interviewing leaders who may not really be Asians, but they, are, they could be Caucasians, but they have spent more than 10 years in uh, Asia. So these leaders, some of them are from the US, some of them are from Italy, some of them actually are from various different parts of Europe. So it's pretty interesting to look. Now then the second part of your question is to whether are there differences. I think uh, being a human being, the basic human touch uh, in terms of human connection is the same everywhere. Yeah, so the only difference is the perspective of how they connect with each individual can be very different. So a leader from Indonesia actually told me, like for example, some in parts of Indonesia, touching the head is deemed as not being respectable to the person. So being culturally aware of what uh, the people will view you, how your actions are, is really critical. So although it is human connection as well, but it is really being aware of the various different cultures. So which is very different from maybe Singapore because Singapore is really exposed uh, more to the Western portion. So therefore people are a little bit more direct and forthright compared to other countries like uh, probably Thailand. It's also a little bit different. Yeah, so this, these are the few key things that I realized. I think the basic human connection is the same. The application is different across Asia. Well, I like how you put it. Jenny, so we're talking about values. In your opinion, how important is gratitude in an organization? I think gratitude is extremely important, whether is it um, in organization, in businesses, or even individually, because I think it forms the basis of trust, as well as building relationships. So when you're building relationships with your clients, with your team members, as a leader, with the rest of the organization, or even within family members, now only when you show gratitude uh, will you actually receive gratitude. So that's how important I feel it is. All right. And you were very productive interviewing 50 leaders from different <laughs> countries. So what is your number one tip on productivity? Well, the number one tip for productivity to me, I feel, is being engaged. Yeah, so whether individually, teams or leaders, because I'm engaged, or I'm committed and passionate to do these interviews because I feel that it really will help me in the longer term. Now, if an individual uh, is personally engaged to their goals, uh, which then coincides and align with the organizational goals, they will be passionate and personally committed in driving together with the organization. Now, if the leader is engaged with the team members together, they will then align their goals towards building and driving towards business success. That's why I feel engagement will be the number one tip I will have for productivity. Engagement, I like it. Yes. And um, uh, I was really happy talking to you today. So I'd like to ask you, what yes. makes you happy? Well, what makes me happy? Now, I'm happy if I'm able to make a difference to other people's lives. Be it when I was in corporate, introducing new med medical technologies that makes a difference to people's lives, uh, patients' lives. Or when I was in the metaphysical field, I feel happy when I see my clients fulfilled uh, in their careers, uh, happy and 
in their relationships, whether it be with their family, with their friends, or even with their colleagues. I'm also extremely happy when I see teams engage with their leaders, fulfilled and working engagingly in alignment towards the organization's success. So that's what makes me happy, making wow, a difference. Making a difference. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Janet. This has been a very valuable interview. And Thank you so much for your time. You're most welcome. We're the one to thank you. <laughs> and I believe that you gave so much value, not just to me, but of course, to all our HR professionals and business leaders globally.